Welcome farmers. In this video, I want to give you a short update on Terra yield farming. This video was not really planned, but I thought there are two nice opportunities right now, which I think you guys should be aware of. The first one is that Stator Labs has announced a community farming event. I will shortly show what that means and what Stator is. And on the other hand, the UST strategy on Abracadabra is life. It's not really what we expected, but I will shortly go what you can do. So let's go. Welcome back to Progressive Invest. My name is Philip and I'm talking about DeFi and cryptocurrencies. In case you would like to generate yield on your digital assets, then subscribe to my channel. And in case you find any value in this video, drop a like and also a comment down below in case you have any questions. As I said, this video was not really expected, but there are two very interesting opportunities coming up on Terra. The first one is the Stator Labs community farming event. For those of you who don't know what Stator actually is, Stator is maximizing your yield on Luna somehow the same way what Nexus protocol does but with another staking opportunity so nexus is utilizing anchor protocol what stator is doing is actually maximizing your yield on your staked luna when you delegated it to the validator so what stator is doing in case you stake with them is they sell your yields and reinvest it into luna for example the airdrops they take the airdrops sell them and reinvest it like automatically it so you don't need to do it by yourself anymore the interesting thing with stator is they start on terra but they are also want to expand to like solana to Cosmos, Near Protocol, and also Ethereum. So they are like a cross-chain staking solution, which I think for many people, and especially for whales, this is a nice opportunity. In case you don't really want to farm and do a lot with the token, right? You just want to hold it, earn some yield on it, then Stator seems the way to go for you. And that also means that in my opinion, I mean, we can see this with the Lido application for the staking Ethereum. In my opinion, this will have a large inflow of money in the future and a large utilization rate. So this protocol can grow a lot. And what is the best way we can participate in the protocol? Usually we buy the token, right? And benefit from the price appreciation in case the protocol does well. But what the opportunity we have here is that we can just farm their token during the community farming event, same like Apollo DAO, and get the tokens for free uh, from, from get some stadier token instead. I think this is a nice opportunity, especially when you're early to a project and when there is the community farming event launching, then this is early. They announced this here on Twitter. Now you can become an investor instead at an exclusive and close to private sale. We are thrilled to announce an open and fair community farming event. By the way, I'm a big fan of farming events because then there is not much money going to VCs who are dumping on you. They are doing the farming event. So everybody can actually participate and the token get distributed among everybody who is participating. So they have 6 million SD token, like Stator Lab token to be distributed. And they also published a Medium article about it, I'm pretty sure. I will link it in the video description uh, once I found it. Here you can see it. You can read the details of the farming event. Of course, there are some questions. I shortly just had an overview of it. And as far as I could see, there's also a vesting period for the stator token, which also means that the price won't dump immediately after the farming event is over. In general, not everything is clear here yet, but it's also not too uh, late to learn more about it, right? The farming event will officially start on 20th of November. So we still have 10 days time to learn all about it and of course to make some uh, to get some Luna ready to launch in this event. I can definitely just recommend to check it out because free token only 6 million which means uh, likely the token price won't be too low. Also with the vesting and the protocol which is likely used a lot in the future definitely could make sense right um, like from a risk reward perspective this is just awesome definitely i can recommend to check it out so now to the main topic in this video which is the ust strategy 
is not really as we expected before, right? Uh, we expected actually that Abracadabra will deploy on Terra. I made a video about it, what, are my, what my expectations are. I can link it here in the video and you can have a look again. Now it's actually a little bit different. I think that Daniele Sesta, he chose this way because then it's more fast to actually deploy it instead of starting to deploy on a completely new ecosystem because as we can see, Abracadabra is available only on EVM compatible chains and they just started to work on non EVM chains like on Solana and on Terra. So likely the strategy how I expected it to be deployed, we will see in the future. But it seems like this was just able to execute a little bit or much more faster. So what can you do? You can use your UST to deposit here as collateral on Abracadabra on the Ethereum network. Of course, you would say no, oh no, Ethereum network fees are too high. But this actually, in case you come from the Terra ecosystem, you only need one transaction to deploy the strategy and then one transaction to get out of the strategy, right? So there's only one Ethereum transaction involved. And in case you do it at the right time, then it's below $100. But still, of course, this then means that you definitely need a decent amount of UST to execute this and actually be in profit quite fast. So going here on Apricadabra, you can see that you can deposit here your UST in the borrow section. How to get your UST to Ethereum? I definitely recommend the Terra bridge because here you are paying the gas fees for bridging in UST and no Ethereum fees so far. So here we don't have high fees yet, right? So when you come from the Terra network, that would be the best way. In case you are on Solana, you can also, you, you can use the wormhole bridge and also uh, in case you're already on Ethereum, then of course you need to exchange your US dollar or whatever you have to UST first to execute the strategy. Okay, but here I'm playing the scenario that I come from Terra. So here I will bridge my UST to the Ethereum network. Afterwards, I have the UST in my wallet. I didn't do the strategy by myself yet, but uh, because I will wait for a low gas fee moment, which is usually, I mean, I'm in Europe, which is usually in the morning in Europe, like eight o'clock, because then US is already mostly sleeping and Europe is not awake so much. Usually the gas fees are lower than on the Ethereum network. So in case you are in the US, then you should maybe do it like midnight or a little bit later. And in case you're in Asia, then somewhere in the afternoon. Okay, so bridge to Ethereum. Then afterwards you have to use T on Ethereum. Keep in mind, you need some Ether for the gas fees. And then you go on Abracadabra. You click here on the cauldron for UST. The interesting thing, what Abracadabra is doing here, you deposit UST. And in the background, they exchange it for AUST, earning yield. They, from this yield, the 20%, they distribute 16.56% to you. The rest will go into the DGEN box and the treasury and whatever. So they utilize it in another way for you. And what you can do against it is, of course, you borrow MIM. This becomes a yield generating asset. Yeah, it becomes AUST. And then afterwards, you can borrow MIM against it. Here you can set the liquidation price. It's like the utilization rate you want to use here for the MIM compared to UST, uh, which you can set up to 90%. Of course, it's a little bit higher risk, but we have stable coins here, right? And UST has proven to be quite stable already. And also MIM has proven to be quite stable already, especially because the volume of MIM is already crazy. To execute the strategy, you click here on change leverage and then set the leverage you want to do. So what kind of APY can we achieve here? In case we do 10x leverage, then we can see here the calculation. Let's say, yeah, we do it with 10,000 UST. I wouldn't recommend you to do it with way lower amount because of the gas fees. You can see, okay, you get 16.56% and when you do 10X leverage at 90% utilization rate, then you're actually earning approximately 110% on your deposited UST. The collateral will just increase by this value. 
I would maybe not go the full degen here. I would use the liquidation price of 90%. Yes, because we're talking about stable coins here, but then likely doing like a 7x leverage, which will lead to 70 to 80% interest rate on my deposited UST. Yeah, this is how it actually works. The nice thing, the magic with Abracadabra is actually, okay, we have two things here. First of all, they make UST a yield bearing asset by doing everything in the background, right? Uh, depositing it on Anchor and whatever. This is a really cross chain strategy here, which is pretty cool. And on the other hand, they are offering you these cycling opportunities like the leveraging in just one click, which means you only need to pay a one time gas fee transaction. So according to my understanding, this is still quite okay. Although it's on the Ethereum network, network, it is possible here to do it with a minimal amount of transaction and then you just leave it there and wait, right? I mean, yield farming is not about uh, doing actions all the time. Sometimes you just deploy a strategy and then you wait until yeah, you generated a decent amount of yield. This is how the whole strategy works. In case you want to close this, then you need to click to repay and close the position. And then afterwards you can transfer the UST wherever you like, maybe back to the Terra ecosystem. I will definitely do this strategy here tomorrow morning. I think I would apply like $20,000 here and uh, test it out, see how it works and how high the gas fees are actually are. Maybe I give a very short update on that on my next Terra video. Yeah. That's it with the two topics. I think I explained it here, what you could do. On the one hand, uh, join the community farming event on Stato Labs. And on the other hand, you can execute the UST leveraging strategy on Abracadabra. I think this is quite cool. Definitely is something I would test out as well. And no financial advice, but if you want to play around, maybe this is something for you too, especially for stablecoin farming, right? More than 100% APY possible here. We will go a little bit lower, like to 7 to 80. And I think this strategy is somehow quite safe. Of course, everything depends on the pack stability of MIM and UST. So next video, maybe Pop Cycle Finance, I will see. And I hope I see you there. Subscribe to the channel in case you want to have more yield farming content and leave a like in case you find any value in this video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye. And a short disclaimer, my videos are no financial advice. Every decision you do, you do by yourself. I am not responsible for your investment decisions. Please be aware every investment can lead to a 100% loss. So please only invest carefully and what you can afford to lose. Thank you.